Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing well. Things are a little crazy over here, but I wanted to talk to you today about Ethereal Lacquer's Howl's Moving Castle collection. This collection uh, is open for pre-order on Friday, the 23rd of February at 9 p.m. Eastern, and it's gorgeous. So the collection itself is six really beautiful shimmers, and I can't wait to share them with you. They're not, I wouldn't call them like sheer shimmers, but I did do three coats for all of my video that you'll see, the movement video, and I just watched two coats so you can kind of get a better feel for how they apply. Um, full disclosure, I've never seen, uh, of, I've never seen Howl's Moving Castle. It's on my list to watch, but these are really beautiful. They're really magical and they make me want to watch the movie even more than I already want to do. So I'm really excited to share these with you. I'm going to just make this quick. I will get to the swatches and then I'll be back to give you more details. We're going to start off with my favorite from the collection and this is Calcifer. I love an orange, I love a bright color and this is super shifty as well. So it is described as an orange almost coral base with an intense gold to copper shifting shimmer and you can see kind of where that corally comes through. It's got like a little bit of a pink tinge to the base. Um, I know that some people think it looks a bit like Flight of the Monarchs from Mooncat. I didn't do a direct comparison. However, uh, Flight of the Monarchs is definitely has like a more pronounced purple base. But this is two coats over my shorter thumbnail. And I did three for these. And it's the perfect shimmery, shifty, fiery orange. I love it. Another one of my favorites from this collection is Witch of the Waste. And this is described as like a dark purpley raisin base with a blue shimmer. And it's much more of like a creamy formula. Like a, As you can see, it's pretty opaque even with the one, you know, the one stroke on the swatch there. And I did two as per usual with these videos and missed the side of my nail as you can see. But this is another one of my favorites because the blue shimmer on this one is really, really strong. But I really enjoy how like deep and vampy this color is. And then I also did three coats for these as well. And it's very good. This one has very, very good coverage. Next up is a Hearts, a Heavy Burden. And this one's a little funky. It was a little hard to capture, but it's so gorgeous. It is a, it was described as a medium stone brown with a pink to orange shimmer. So you can see how strong that shimmer is with that kind of funky brown base. You can see here, this one is a little bit on the sheer side, but the brown base comes through and it builds really, really nicely. And the shimmer on this one is really, really strong. See in the second one, I mean, it's just full of it. It's a really, really glowy, shifty color as well. And I really like that the base on this one is like that cool brown color. Just, it kind of gives it a little something that's kind of like, you know, an elevated neutral, which is my fave. You know, my favorite category of polish. But you can see the shifts here. And that one was in three coats. And then this is Your Hair Looks Like Starlight. And this polish um, is, is sheer, which is unsurprising. It's a light, like a super, super light sky blue base full of blue shimmer. And it has like this really like milky sheer formula, which means this is going to just be like the milky sheer topper of your dreams with the amount of shimmer that's in there. It builds really nicely for a really like beautiful ethereal look. As per usual, I don't have a blurring base coat on, so you can definitely see my nail line here. This is three coats over my natural nails. I think if I was wearing a little bit more of a blurring coat, it would be just spectacular. And then this is There You Are Sweetheart. And this is a warm toned hot pink full of that blue to violet shifting shimmer. And this definitely might be one of the at least one of my like favorite <laughs> pinks with with that blue to violet shifting shimmer that I've put on. As you can see, the coverage is beautiful. It doesn't have micro hollow in it like um, Quinlan does, and the colors themselves are a little bit different. But this is a really gorgeous, I think very flattering pink that I really, really enjoyed. And it is like, bam, the blue shimmer on it. So this is three coats over my natural nails as per usual with this one. You can see a little nail line, but like I said, no base coat. 
And last but not least is the absolutely gorgeous Find Me in the Future. And this is another one that is a pretty sheer polish itself, kind of meant to be a topper, but does build. It has a dusty periwinkle base with a large particle green to blue shimmer. And uh, you can see it's super, super ethereal. And I keep saying ethereal for ethereal, but I, I mean, that's the best way to describe it. That's why I love them so much. But you can see it builds quite nicely. The blue, the blue on that is very strong. I didn't quite wait for my um, polish to dry before I went in for the second coat here. So you're gonna see it bunch up a little bit, but the formula on this is really nice and gonna top her beautifully. And then also it's so shifty and great. And here it is on three coats over my natural nails. It gives it like a little chrome look. It's beautiful. So what do you think? I try to keep this pretty, pretty quick I'm not, I'm not a huge talker, uh, very much the epitome of introverted but willing to discuss nail polish, but um, I, I kind of like doing just kind of faster videos that's just more like, when bam, here's the information, here's what they look like, here are the details and how to get them. Let me know. Let me know if you want me to talk about more things. I mean, it doesn't mean that I will because it is, I, I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do. But let me know if I could always go into more detail or if you want to know more things about specific polishes. But that was Ethereal's gorgeous Howl's Moving Castle collection. The collection is open for pre-order. Pre-order means that they won't sell out. You just order on Ethereal Lacquer's website, which I'll link below. You just order through there. And once pre-order closes, that's when like the time starts for, for shipping and everything. So... You pre-order, nothing's going to sell out within the time frame. It's usually about a week. I don't have the exact date for when pre-order closes. But it does open tomorrow, Friday 23rd at 8, or nope, 9 p.m. Eastern Time on Ethereal Lacquer's website. And you can go through there and pre-order everything that you want. Please let me know if you have any questions on any of these. Um, and I have swatches up on my Instagram. And I hope to see everyone next week with another little video and talk to you later.